This year has been so busy. I don't think I've ever traveled so much in my life. So what I really need is to go on a trip with my family. And this is a great opportunity to go out with both the Gladiator and the Bronco, as well as test out some of the toys I've picked up over the course of my travels. This is the story till now. What's up everybody, hope you had a good weekend. We're just getting ready to head out and go camping. Today, we're gonna to do something a little bit different. I wanna find out if the Starlink satellite internet system is good for overlanding. To help test this out, we're gonna be bringing my wife and daughter on this trip because uh, my wife doesn't like to go camping without internet. Now I know this is a controversial topic, uh, having internet access out in the bush, but for people like myself who do this as a job, being able to work on the road is an essential thing. So. I want to know if this is going to work good for me. Plus, my wife also works online, and getting her to come out camping is near impossible if she cannot get on the internet. So, hopefully, this helps. It's going to be our second trip out in the Go Fast Camper. Also, you can see we got our Demos Delta Pro shovel mounted up on the side of the GFC here. The main drawback so far about Starlink is this box is gigantic. We're going to have to get some kind of custom case made or something for this. But it's just kind of big and takes a lot of space in the vehicle. Definitely the biggest downside. Yeah, camping. Yeah. What do you got? You got your bucket? Yeah. All right. Should we go? Go. All right, we just got to the trailhead. We got the Gladiator and the Bronco. Ada's driving the Bronco. We got my three-year-old in the back seat, so this is going to be a little bit uh, interesting and different adventure. All right, so this is going to be your first time driving by yourself. Uh, with Eddie. Well, and just driving on a on a forest service road by yourself, right? Don't go too fast around the corners because okay. your tire pressure is low. Don't want to slide. Don't drive too slow because we don't want to take all day to get there. Oh, okay. Don't stay too close to me, like a couple car lengths back. Okay. And uh, watch out around the corners because sometimes like side by side, quads, something come like really fast around the corner, but I'll be in front of you. Okay. So I'll let you know if any problem. Sounds good. Also, Give me a sign. It's a weekday, so there's going to be logging trucks. Okay. So if a logging truck's coming, you got to get over as far as you can and get out of the way. Sure. Okay? Yeah. What do you got there, Ellie? A donut? Yeah. Yeah? You want to give donut? You want to give it to me so I can eat it? Yeah? I wanted to get my wife and daughter out with me on a trip all summer. And I'm really excited it's finally happening and the weather is looking amazing. traffic so I'm trying to make sure that we take everything kind of slow and I'm calling out all the other vehicles for her so she feels good and comfortable it's a pretty windy road How's the drive in? You feel good about that? Good. Yeah? Comfortable? It's really good. You enjoyed it? Mm. Well, that's a good sign. What's up, Ellie? Too windy? A little windy, right? 
This video has been sponsored by our friends at Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that delivers you top shelf goods from under the radar brands. Best of all, it's free to join. Now, 90% of the products in these boxes are from companies right here in the USA, small businesses. Every month, they introduce members to cool new products based on a quiz that you fill out. Now, each box has around $70 in retail value, but you only pay a fraction of that. You can preview your box each month before it ships, swap it, keep it, or skip the month entirely. You only pay for what you want. Let's take a look at what I got this month. From the swing box, we have this awesome little hatchet with a blade cover. Great for chopping up kindling when I'm at camp and it stores super easily in my truck. And from the wet box, this very cool blade sharpening kit. It comes with three Arkansas oil stones and is perfect for keeping that hatchet sharp. And finally, we have the cask box, which I'll be using to age some whiskey on a miniature scale with this tiny little barrel. So cool. So to get 20% off your first box, click on the link in the description and use code STORY20 at checkout or go to bespokepost.com slash STORY20. We've got the tree line on in here. We're gonna pull out so we get a little shade. It's pretty good at resisting wind. If you guys like this awning, there's a link in the description where you can check it out from Modular Racks. By the way, I'm aware that my camera sensor is dirty, guys. I dropped the camera back in Montana and damaged it. This is the last video you'll think your screen is dirty, I promise. Barbecue corn on a beach in the summer is one of my absolute favorite things. in the back seat. It's basically like having a child. With you. Kind of. Except it's not annoying. Alright. Dish stand. Dish. This is a router. And some cables. So we just need to have some clear sky. Plenty of clear sky here, so this should be no problem. We're gonna set up the dish over here and we'll get her going. Once you set it up, it takes about uh, 15 minutes or less to determine your location, find satellites, and kind of get online. You can see it's, uh, it's determining location right now. We're online. Nineteen megabits per second. This is going to need some additional testing. So in this somewhat compact bag, I have a. 120 inch projection screen from our friends at Devos who also make the Light Ranger, the cool uh, pole light I showed in uh, one of the previous videos. So we're going to pull this out, set it up, and combine it with 
the projector that I brought and the Starlink. See what kind of magic we can make happen. Now I'm hoping this thing has some kind of tie downs on it or something because there's a little bit of wind out here. So I don't want my screen blown away mid movie, you know? Should be fun. Ropes. That's huge. Well, it works. I think we got about uh, a little less than three hours of, of runtime on this before the battery will die, but cool. All right, it's day two. We had a movie night last night. Projector screen worked really well. Projector ran really well. It takes a lot of juice to run a projector and a laptop. So it wasn't super ideal, but it was fun. We were able to stream pretty much whatever we wanted, Netflix, etc., using Starlink, so that works really well. Now we're hanging out on the beach. I'm gonna cook up some bacon. I'm actually trying to be a little bit healthier, so uh, I'm just removing all the other uh, things from my meal. Having just the bacon, yeah. it's got to be a little bit better for you, right? We're floating, Ellie? Yeah, floating. Yeah? Where do you want to go? Which way? That way? Yeah. Over there. Okay. Here we go. Can you hold this for me? Oh, yeah. Here, yeah. This way? Yeah, we'll try. You're right. Waterfall. Wow. Wow. It's morning. We're out for a early morning path raft mission. Doing a little exploring. Ellie insisted on going out on the lake, so here we are. It's beautiful out here. All right, Ellie wants to take a nap. She's getting sleepy. So we're going to uh, test out the Zero Breeze air conditioner we brought along. Get it set up. Intent on the Bronco here. All right, so the Zero Breeze is battery powered. Uh, we'll see how long it lasts. Basically, instead of having the unit inside and running exhaust hoses outside, there's two hoses in the back. I've just put the unit outside of the tent and run one hose from the from the air conditioning to the to the inside. And it's actually really cold coming out of here, so that's cool. Not bad. I'll close up the windows and we'll see how cool it gets in here. Gadgets aside, this was exactly the break that I needed. Just some quality family time on a beautiful beach. Relaxing, swimming, going out on my raft. It feels like a really nice reset. And we'll get back to the crazy adventures next time. Ah, uh, fuel. Rich choke nun. Go. Let's go. Come on. Oh, oh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. It's that sounds like 20 bucks to me. Woo! Woo. 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 In 2020, I completed the first section of the Alexander McKenzie Trail. Since then, 
it has been calling me to come back and finish what I started. It is 180 kilometers long, and we have budgeted just two weeks to complete it. It will take all of our skills and push us way outside of our comfort zone. But this is a challenge we're not willing to back down from, no matter what happens along the way. We are finishing this trail, following the steps of Alexander McKenzie at all costs. This is Teddy coming live to you from Storm Alexander McKenzie. The rain has started to come in, batten down the hatches. You guys are going to be in here for a while. So make sure you guys 